Whenever people ask me, what is your favorite planet in the solar system? I tell them my favorite world, well, it's Earth, okay, because I live here. But my favorite world in the solar system, I have two candidates. One is Europa, which I've done videos on and you should check out. The other is Titan. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn. And Titan is just, and it's just an, it's just an, an, an enigma. It is a strange world. It's like, you go down the list of like what we see in the solar system, like little rocky planets, some asteroids, giant planets. Okay, now we've got some icy moons. Okay, and then there's Titan doing its own thing. Titan has an incredibly dense atmosphere. In fact, it's denser than the Earth's. So think of it, this is a world about the size of our moon with an atmosphere thicker than our own by about 50%. It's mostly uh, carbon dioxide because you know most of everything is carbon dioxide, but there's also methane and ethane and propane and propane accessories and just a lot of anes going on here, which is very curious. Because Titan has such a thick atmosphere, has a very high air pressure. And that air pressure is able to keep a lid on things. It's able to keep a lid on liquids. Titan is the only world other than the Earth to have liquids, bodies of liquids on its surface. But the Earth being all close to the sun and everything, we have liquid water on our surface. Titan is way out there in the outer edges of the solar system orbiting Saturn. It is way too cold. It is hundreds of degrees below zero. All right. You can't have liquid water there. There's no liquid water on Titan. Despite the high air pressure, there's no liquid water. But there is liquid methane. There is liquid ethane and liquid propane. There's there's just liquid anes. It's, it's the exact same stuff in the atmosphere. Just like we have water vapor in our atmosphere and then we have liquid water on the surface. Titan has liquid meth or methane vapor in its atmosphere and then liquid methane on its surface. Why is this intriguing? Why does this make it my mo most favorite world? One, it's awesome. Two, Life as we know it requires water. Water is just super handy with, for when it comes to life. It's a solvent. It's the place where all the biochemical reactions that make life possible do their thing. It doesn't have to be water, though. Not necessarily any liquid would suffice. It has to have certain properties. But, you know, methane and ethane is a very interesting possibility. When it comes to potential homes for life in our solar system, we want to look for liquid water. So we want to look for liquid water on Mars and Europa and Ganymede. Yes, yes, yes. But Titan has this very interesting curveball, which is liquid methane. There could be, could be. We don't know. This is a little bit hard to study uh, for, for chemists and biologists and physicists. There could be entire chains of life that don't rest on water, but instead rest on liquid methane, operating at a temperature hundreds of degrees below zero in the outer edges of our solar system. I would love to explore Titan. We have sent probes to Titan. The Cassini mission to Saturn dropped a lander, a probe onto Titan, the Huygens probe. It landed, it took some pictures. We have literal pictures of the certain surface of Titan. We had orbiters, the Cassini mission mapped a bunch of uh, the surface of Titan, figured out where the, the, the seas, the methane seas were, but it's just a crazy place. Those instruments weren't designed to hunt for life. Could there be microbial life on Titan? I mean, it's got a chance. It's got a better chance than like Mercury or whatever, or probably Venus too. It's, it's up there. Like it's in the top five places where we might find life in the solar system, it's in there. And it's because it is the only world other than Earth. It's one of the few, well, let me rephrase that. It's one of the few worlds in the solar system to host liquid anything. And it's the only world other than Earth to host liquid something on its surface. The other cool thing about Titan, 
which I have to tell you, besides the whole thing about life, it, it's really cool to make a blowtorch on Titan. So on Earth, we have oxygen just floating around in the atmosphere. And then you have a tank of fuel, like methane or propane. And then you ignite it, and the fuel combines with the oxygen, releases heat, generates a chain reaction, and can keep the flame going as long as you have enough fuel. So you need a fuel tank, and it reacts with the oxygen just hanging out in the air. On Titan, it's the reverse. There's no oxygen in the air. The fuel is in the air. So to make a blowtorch on Titan, you take a tank of oxygen, open up the valve and ignite it. The oxygen will react with the fuel in the atmosphere and make like a reverse blowtorch. And I want to do that. And I will see you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe and go to patreon.com slash pmsutter. Otherwise, if you do or don't, I don't care. I just appreciate you watching. And either way, I will see you next week.